Welcome back, my friends, to some Need for Speed Heat. It's been about five minutes, and we already got hundreds of views. Oh, we? Look who I'm at. Oh, hey. My sister giving you the grand tour, huh? Something like that. You know, just so you know, if racing means ending up in the back of a cop car, she is the perfect Is she perfect even doing guy. too bad? <laughs> Remind me again which one of us has actually been locked up. Oh, no, I learned my lesson. Only thing you learn, it's how to be boring. Anyone else loses their crew, it'd be a sign to give up. Or go back to college. Well, not me. And as for my crew, they weren't up for it. Maybe I found someone who is. Uh, none of that, that's what you think. You know, but stories I've been hearing lately, cops ain't playing no more. We know that. Mira, la calle está caliente. I know all about the cops. Papi gave me the same damn talk. Then act like it, mija. <laughs> what? Like you did? <laughs> calmate, calmate. <laughs> Where are you staying? That's a good question. How about a garage? Yeah. People stay here all the time. You sure? Find a free couch. Where? Who am yours. I? <laughs> what am I? Why am I here? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Welcome back to Need for Speed Heat, ladies and gents. We return once more, and we are about to do some customization. Oh, sorry about the run around. So this is telling us that we can progress, basically get a cheap three stars on all the speed traps and we unlock a 600 LT, not too shabby. Anyway, so nitrous oxide, we were promised it in the last episode and we're finally actually going to get it in this one. We're going to install one three tank because that's what it says, tank. Anyway, we've installed nitrous. Now you got the edge, and I'm happy. We kind of needed NOS. It felt a little bit naked driving a car in this game without having nitrous. It's, it's need for speed. It's, you're supposed to have nitrous. But anyway, so we've got nitrous colors. I have only 13,000. 13,000 seems like a lot of money, to be fair. But I promise you, once we start throwing some of these bits on, I mean, to be fair, we do get to fully customize this car pretty darn well. We get to do the frogs get to choose with the frogs. I actually chose a very different color to what I normally choose just because I thought, you know what? I need to spice it up a little bit, change it up, mix it up. So anyway, thank you, my friends, for joining us for episode two. Uh, we've got some action packed stuff in this video. And uh, I just wanted to make a little shout out to those people that have been asking me. You can buy these shirts. There's a link down below in the description. I ship them out myself. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but it's, it's kind of worth it, you know, you get that, that, the personal touch. Anyway, so as I said, we went with a beautiful green. And here's a feature that I quite very much like. And obviously the new paint system is great. But what is even cooler to me is you can do it to stickers as well. You can change the material of the stickers and the colors and the, the reflections and the like. It's fantastic. And of course, the Black Panther sticker, it, it fits perfectly on every car. Just in the corner, the window there. Every car. Every you find a car and tell me it doesn't fit because it does even if it doesn't have a window it fits well now Normally, I would go with the big crazy body kits, but I thought I would go drift style with this kit I think it ended up looking fantastic, but that's my personal preference. I've heard Quite a few of you tell me that uh, you don't really agree with some of my customization options and that's fine That's how we do it. Welcome to customization personalization as you will and I think this thing turned out pretty darn beautiful. I like the green a lot. It's kind of got this little little yellow in there, little uh, lime greens, dark greens, whatever you, whatever you could fancy. Anyway, right, slapping on the exhaust. Now, this is an old car. You've already seen this customized on the last two games. It's not really anything new per se, but there's some new bits in terms of wings, and that is for sure. I don't think I even built this car in Payback. So I'm kind of regretting that I didn't do that now. But going through the wings, the two new wings right there. I, I was tempted to go with the big attached to the back chassis mount rocket bunny wing. But these are brand new and I just had to try them. Get to see if I like them. And I've got to say, I very much love how they turned out. Now, I only have 250 left. So we're just going to do the things that cost no money and lower the car a little bit. Which actually, it was already lowered. And tune the exhaust. <laughs> Not, not raspy enough. Needs a bit more rasp. There you go. Honestly, I could spend all day doing it. <laughs> it's just kind of addictive. 
There we go. That'll do. So. If I were you, I would hit the streets at night. Remember, you're only spending bank on that Okay, but I have no money. So we're going to go in the daytime and get some money that way. We need money. So in the night, you're focused on rep. In the day, you're focused on the mula. The colors just look so cool in this. I hear you've been tricking all your wheels. That's how yeah. you're serious about this. Wouldn't be here if I wasn't. You know, if you want to get in the league, you're not getting there alone. From what but I hear, neither are you. That's what I wanted to talk about. I'm thinking we can help each other. Form a crew? Unless you got any better offers on the table. Plenty, actually. Bullshit. Come on. What do you say? I say you're on. All right. Okay. If we're going to climb the ladder to the league, we got to get ourselves a race against another crew. Okay. Remember Kenny? That redneck from my oh. first night here. <laughs> His crew, the Speed Boys, are great for taking down. I'll pull whatever strings I can, but you got to make yourself worth racing. Earn an invitation. Then we can make our mark. Okay. On it. So... As you can see, All Drive is now taking place. We've got some of the other guys playing. And I decided to turn on traction control. Now, let me make this as clear as I possibly can. This is not a good way to make a grip build. Do not do this. Now, this is something that we used to do back in the day when... On the last two games, actually. And this is what we... Well, on the last game, specifically, we did this for the sake of grip. And as you can see, my car is no longer really losing control. And it's okay. Actually, I tell a lie. It's really poo. It's basically the same as it was in Payback. But please do not mistake this for the grip handling. That is not what it is. Stock cars tend to have a bias as to where they fall, drift or grip. And this car, it, fo it, fell, it fell so anyway that it fell a little bit more towards drift than I would personally prefer. And I didn't have any money to put any grip tires on. That is the way you do it. Tires, uh, drivetrain, kind of uh, suspension, things like that is how you do it. So anyway, we're jumping onto the next mission here. Good to see you again. I'll show you the way to the track. Follow me. Okay, Dex, let's get it. Pop it. So Dex is going to take us to the next event, which is very, very nice of him. So it actually tells you he's indicating to. He's just it's super cool. Anyway, yes, don't don't mistake this. This is me doing a temporary fix until I have the ability to do my beautiful grip tire upgrades. You'll see that soon in the gameplay. Though, obviously, the years have been harder on his Cuban ass. Yep. That's not very nice. Dex. Anyway, Dex is really cool. Dex has got a skyline. I like Dex. He's a brother with the R32. This track where we're going, that's where we learned to race back in the day. They get some kind of water treatment plant. Place used to stink like a swamp. Oh. And that's what made it. The perfect. flames. <laughs> the air was nasty, but the roads were clear. That's all the that matters. Lucas nearly drifted into an open tank of sewage. But don't worry, they put a roof on that sense. A roof on the sewage or a roof on the car? Oof. Anyway. So yes, these follow missions are pretty cool. The only thing is, I feel like they go a little bit slow sometimes. I wish they would speed up as you get up to them and then slow down as you... That kind of thing. Because I do feel like sometimes I go too quick. I'll run these practice sessions for out-of-towners. So y'all don't embarrass yourselves at the showdowns. Oh, really? You impress? Maybe I'll give you a little something, something to get your car up to showdowns. Well, you're going to end up in that ambulance if you speak like that to me again. I like the sound of that. No, this, this, this Dex character. I like the characters we'll be introduced to. There's, there's like a nice balance between, you know, different types of character. Some of them are like, yo, man, I'm against. Some of them are like, look, stop being silly. I like that that is it's very, very nice. Anyway, so yes, he's leading us to the actual event that we're going to be doing. I like the follow missions. It gives a bit more character, a bit more background. Story. That one did feel a little bit, I wouldn't say pointless, but there wasn't much conversation. There wasn't much learning of the characters there. I would hope that maybe later on in the game, we learn more about characters as we do those events. I liked the one as we drove the three with the 350 and the uh, redneck pulled up. And that the night race, that was super, super cool. So anyway... Let's keep it going. So we are carrying on with this, with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. It looks fantastic. So this was my first attempt at this race. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. It didn't go fantastic. I did I did mention in the last episode that there was a little bit of change in difficulty every now and again. Well, yeah, we know that. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. It, did, it just didn't go my way. That's the easiest way I can explain it. So there's got a forced jump in this event. I've actually tried to 
avoid some jumps in many events and failed miserably, but... Are you following me? <laughs> following? I'm about to pass you. Don't you worry, Dex. What are you... Why is Dex talking rubbish? He's in second place. He's in second. He's going to fall to last in a minute, I tell you. But anyway, as I was saying, the difficulty in these events shows difference. You can see that my car, because I chose that handling option, which was... It was a little bit silly of me to do, but... I ended up turning off to finish this event and then turn it back on. This event was difficult. It was hard. Even I, everyone in the room playing this event struggled with this event. I am not kidding you. I, I had Lucas LPN right next to me struggling as well. And he's a good driver. He's a German man. He knows what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> so I struggled. Okay. This is on medium. There's a little, the balancing seemed to be a, a little bit off. If I'm going to be completely honest with you. It, it messed up and then I was able to do it. But I imagine ghosts are going to solve that issue. Because they said something between this build and the current build. Which was again not the final one I don't think. Uh, they had fixed about 900 things or something. I was like in the 1200s. I can't even remember. It was ridiculous. But the end of the event. I ended up doing this event four times. The fourth time I managed to do it. But you do get money each time. So that was kind of useful. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Because I actually managed to um, get some more money than I was supposed to get from doing the one event. So it, it, it worked in a way, right? So anyway, as you can see now, I'm doing some slides. I'm in first place. Weirdly, the main reason I'm winning this, ver this time is because... <laughs> The person in first place spawned head on towards me at the beginning of the event. So, yeah, not your best start at all, mate. Your seventh place. And the Pantomime Majit is going to take it home this time. So, the difference here, you can claim to be going to I'm doing a dedicated video about brake versus drift. Uh, sorry, break, grip versus drift versus stock. That's coming super soon. But I want to show you an early kind of idea. You can see that. Don't use that option I did. I would only suggest it if you really want grip at the beginning of the game when you don't have enough for performance upgrades. Which, let me tell you, doesn't take very long. This this episode is going to be a lot of upgrading, and you're going to see that in progress. It's, it's super, super cool. So anyway, this time it was a lot easier. This is a really cool event. A nice track. I see what he means about sewage. But Dex, you're doing these pro races, but why am I? Why is there an audience and stuff? Sometimes I, <laughs> that confuses me. But is it a, 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 a real event or not? And also, hitting things, one thing you'll find interesting, something, something they've worked on a lot compared to the previous game, if you smash into things, it's very likely that it will break. Normally, there was a lot of hard stops, like dead, just full stop walls. This time, they slow you down significantly, but there's a lot more smashables at the side of the road to keep you within the walls. And I kind of, I've got to say, I kind of prefer that. It's, it's much nicer than coming to a hard stop completely. But again, clearly you can see... Even though Dex has gone up one position this whole event, overall, I'm I'm doing pretty darn well. I think in the very last place, actually, was meant to be first place. He was having some major issues. Anyway, some quick skids around the corner. I actually, the new drift handling, as a stock car, it's still, it's kind of like normal. There's not much change to it. But, we'll, as I said, we'll get more into the handling stuff soon. We have made an Evo 10, which I will be doing super soon, so... Be sure to stick around for that if you are new, because, uh, yeah, you're going to want to. Anyway. Has Lucas been teaching you? He used to pull moves like that when we was kids. You can definitely come back again. You better. You're right. I'm, get, I'm coming back. I won the event. I tried and persevered and tried and tried again. So anyway, these mission end screens kind of show you at the end of the thing. Straight back on goes attraction control. And in fact, I'm going to tell you it worked pretty well afterwards but not really that i needed it because we got some upgrade stuff we got some cars unlocked we did actually level up a little bit and we have 35 grand now someone was saying that they noticed it gives you quite a lot of money well i'm gonna be honest with you oh my baby oh i love it i love it i love it i love it so i'm gonna be honest with you it does seem like a lot of money and that kind of bugged me but then i started buying upgrades like we just unlocked 
I try too, baby. So we've only got Nos at the moment. This shows you the performance level stuff. So I think 399 is probably max again. So crankshaft installed pro, if you will. And uh, yeah, we've got a few other bits in here. But again, they are expensive. I got third, I got 10k for that event. And some of the, other, the events that you've seen in other videos are later on. This is early on. And uh, yeah, it costs a lot of money. There's some 20 grand parts over there going upwards. And those are level two, two and five. I, I, compression on my screen, I can't see. But they were kind of next level parts. So uh, yeah, so money, money is required on this. That was 10 grand for a part there. Only because I've retried the event that I have enough for these parts. I'm now out of money. Two grand pennies. I don't have enough for anything. My poor 180 wants something. Anyway, it's time for us to find our next thing to do, which is going to be another day event. I, I, I like the day events. I wanted to progress. Obviously, you get the choice of either earning money and maybe a little bit of rep or the opposite, earning a lot of rep. And not so much money. So I, I do believe you can earn each of the things in the other one. But not as much. More the focus is on rep. Which you need to balance both. And it's a, it's a cool dynamic. And you get to the flow of like, I have to do this one. I have to do that one. But you're focusing on saving or something. you gotta you got to stay in the daytime, right? Now, I do know there's some kind of daily challenges as well. Oh, one little thing. You can't actually do... You can't... I'm locking the wheels to the side and accelerating to show you again here. Yeah, I can't donut. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so it gives you a cool dynamic and obviously you need to balance the both. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be showing you that throughout this Let's Play. We're going to be, this is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited to get through this game with you. I can't wait to show you so many things that we're going to unlock as we progress through and all the story characters that we have yet to meet. I'm sure there's loads of them. I want to know more about those cops. I don't know about you. Anyway, this is the next daytime event. This is a cool setting here. We've got some blue skies in the background, but also some crazy, crazy clouds. And this was more of a closed circuit track. They didn't have any force drifting stuff. It felt more official, this one, than the standard, the last event that we did, which I think is intended. But yeah, you can clearly see I actually turned way too much there. I actually, sometimes it turns more than I actually imagine it would. And so I, I uh, hit some of those crashables at the side of the wall. And it, it doesn't go so well a lot of the time. But the city is beautiful. There are reflections everywhere on the road because of the signs and the like. Super, super cool. And I love that the, the checkpoints are different in the day and the night. So it's such a small thing, but it adds such a different vibe because at night, obviously, it's more aggressive and it's like dirty and... I don't know, you just got to focus a lot more. And you get the reflections from the buildings as well. It's a beautiful city. Ghost have done a cracking job at building such an incredible looking world. Onto the final lap already. As I said, I was absolutely smashing this event. 73% through. No competition whatsoever on this so far. You may as well have just left the event prior to it beginning. And uh, that would have been, it would have been the same result. But I'm really liking this 180. As soon as... I'm able to, to spend more time with this car. I'm definitely going to start throwing some crazy power upgrades in. And I just want to see how this thing can both slide and grip. I, I just want to do both. I can't wait to do that on this game and try both. And that was quite a short event. Uh, so that was a 1 minute 30. And we got 13 grand. So it does progress with the increase. I think this is, again, it's more of an official event. And I feel like that feel might actually contribute to giving you more money, if that makes sense. Or maybe because I just retried the other red so many times they felt bad. Maybe that as well. Anyway, so we're now fast traveling back to the garage. In fact, I only fast travel back to the garage because I didn't know you could swap in on in location. You can swap where you are from day to night. Because I wanted to get a night race done. I needed to level up. We're requirement level 146. And this requires 120. So we shall begin our night switch. This is our first chosen night which is the first time we chose to go tonight and uh, the sprint race is ultra sharp i love the vibe of the these night races though they just they just feel so much more gritty and dirty and you you need you feel like instantly everyone's just going to hit you the the uh, music at the beginning the, like the speaker systems at the launch of the event is such an awesome awesome feeling but boosting past these boys flying through with the 180 
with them sleepy lights. I love the sleepy lights. And as I said about the checkpoints, the checkpoints are instantly different. Again, they're not real checkpoints. They're just kind of highlighted there. And you see quite a lot on the stair, just like I was talking to you about. Don't do this long term. Do it for maybe one or two events and then throw in some grip upgrades or don't do it at all. Quite frankly, but it's possible. The music as well. It is possible to do it, to not drift without putting that on and without upgrading the tires and the like. I just didn't know this at this time, but I learned. I'm so glad the cop decided to take a left there. I was worried that he was going to end me. I thought that was going to be it, but it's just so cool. Again, if I was in that location where I could just, if I just did the switcheroo myself manually, it would have been so, so much cooler because you could just do that the, the day event in that area and the night event, and there'd be similar routes, right? So you kind of you kind of get to see the both views. It's 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 so great, and you'll may notice between day and night when it switches. I also tried to avoid the jump, which we're just gonna we're gonna pretend that I didn't do that, okay? even describe this i have a, i have a thing i really don't like to do the jumps because it, it, it slows you down it's jump slow you down so i thought yes this is just a random jump right no not particularly just a random jump but can the pants man get to first place before the end we're in third place we made that a huge huge mistake 80 percent through this event can we push to first place i don't know boys i don't know <laughs> i don't think we're actually gonna make it here we go Boost button nah, and then it cut off. So, um, we're back. <laughs> we carried on. We persevered. We smashed it on the second run through. And I actually managed to take the jump. I did not. I, I chose to do the jump. Can you believe it? Anyway, finish. There's a rep. And the, the difference between finishing an event in the day and the night is you keep going in the night. Because if you've got police after you, well, they, they're, going, they're going to chase you. They're going to keep chasing you. You've got to get away from them before you start the next event. So anyway, I was marking the next event. We're about to get ready. The heat levels increased because as you play through events, as you do things in the night, that heat level is going to go up. These cops are going to get you. We're doing some slides with the proper banging tunes. I love the music in this game, especially in the night. It's just so gritty and fits. The vibe that we've been talking about all this time. Anyway, so we're on our way to the next event. And I actually see there's all drive action going on. Someone just flew past me. And, uh, well, I'm a little bit worried to say the least. So we come up to the event, try and start the event. But I think the game, re I, I wasn't in the exact right location. And then the game realized there's cops right behind me. And they're probably about to chase me. And yes, they decide to partake in the beating of the pants which is not great not exactly what i wanted so anyway that is gonna about do it for this episode i know i hate to leave it there but we're gonna see some cop action super soon if you enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that like button subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next video until next time peace